invited to meet Professor Nash. Please stand and join me in giving a round of applause to welcome Professor Nash, Professor Tong, the president of PolyU, and Mr. Huang, the president of HKFYG. And welcome to PolyU. Today's open dialogue is a rare opportunity for you to have a close encounter with a Nobel laureate, Professor John Nash, who is a world-renowned mathematician. On behalf of the Hong Kong Federation of Youth Groups, I have great pleasure to welcome all of you to this very, very meaningful event because we are going to have a very special open dialogue with our most distinguished guest, Professor Nash. Would you always be thinking about, you know, very concentrated on what you're working on? No, I have a lot of, a lot of times when I cannot be described as working, actually, or okay. intellectually working. First of all, there's all the time spent sleeping. <laughs> well, we do a lot of that, too. <laughs> between... Well, I think the hot topic right now is to do with the financial crisis. And all of us have heard from the media that there are different ways, different governments, different people have suggested to weather the storm. Equilibrium of, of work and employment and was returned sooner or later, but you don't know how long. Maybe the, the, uh, the psychology of optimism or pessimism will affect decisions made by bankers or others who can decide whether to lay off employees or bring, uh, employ, hire more employees. And they may make these decisions on a psychological basis. I know that you have met with Albert Einstein before. Of course, when I, I met with Einstein, it was, it was an interview that I had requested. He's old enough to be my grandfather. <laughs> wow. I'd like to ask that what have inspired you to develop so many great theories like the game theory or the Nash equilibrium? Who do you think that he or she is a genius. Well, the, I know that uh, genius is a dangerous word. It's, <laughs> it's, like, it's like something that might be put on an advertising label. And what problems that a genius cannot solve uh, sometimes? Uh, your achievements are very impressive to me and my classmates as well. Uh, we are interested to know that uh, what makes you see your potential in being a mathematician when you were young? In the past, just a few days ago, the President of the United States, Barack Obama, has announced in his speech in Prague that he is aiming to achieve a world free of nuclear weapons. Mm. Now, in, the tr in terms of cooperative game theory, could you see such an event to happen in the coming future? But I think about it, I, I wonder, um, well, Russia might, might be, if, if other places, if other states could be persuaded not to have a time with it, Russia might want to have some. <laughs> Thank you once again, Professor Nash, for joining us today. So to this, I'd like to recognize again Professor John Nash, and to welcome you again, and on behalf of our president and our colleagues and all the students here, let us give Professor Nash another round of applause.